So I'm going to show you is the proper way to seal uh, these truffles. And you can see here that we are ready to put a top layer on. I'm going to run this blow dryer and I'm going to do this in a technique where I go from here to here. Don't go long ways like this. Go left and right and make sure that you stop all the way to the right and all the way to the left. Not like this because you'll add too much heat in the left and right and not enough in the center. Let me demonstrate. What I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to melt the edges. You can see the top is beginning to melt. This will make a better seal. See how much control I have. And so I've got a nice even melt. Okay, then what you do is you take a sharp spatula and you push to get that clean. Like so. Now it's wet and, and semi-melted, and so now we're in a good shape to make a seal. Putting a nice light layer on the top. And what you do is you lay it down Take your transfer sheet and you line it up like so, making light contact. And then in one fluid motion, slowly but evenly make one push all the way through. What you'll see here is that I've made that seal. And then you take it, even with the dripping chocolate, and you put it on like so. Don't worry about the chocolate on the sides. The more chocolate there is, the easier it will crack off at the end. Okay, so here we go again. So I'm going left and right. I'm just watching for the edges to melt. Just enough so that I can make a good seal with the chocolate. If I don't do this, the chocolate that I'm laying on for a cap will not seal well and you'll get some breakage. You see I'm going full left and full right, so I have control on how much melting I want. If you don't do this next step, there'll be little pieces that won't make a good seal. And you can see that if I do that, I've got a nice, clean edge. If I don't do this, when I put the transfer sheet on, the transfer sheet, whoops, the transfer sheet will grab in those places and it will not be a good, good thing. See, I'm keeping this thing vibrating the entire time. And I've just got a thin layer of chocolate on the top. I lay it right into my little trough that I've made from last time. Lay it down like so. Now this is the trick here. Don't push too hard. Don't go back and forth. Watch how I do it. Straight down, one continuous motion, just like that. And then you leave that dripping chocolate right there and you connect the two, you'll see them kind of connect. That's perfect. And that's what goes in the fridge and you'll have a finished uh, sealed truffle.